When I first started making paint, I had already been a painter for many years, so I knew exactly what I wanted my paint to be like. I wanted intense color and a luscious texture. Well, it's a texture that supports the work of painting, that's a color that's ready to work, that responds to the artist's intentions with or without medium, and moves beautifully under the brush or knife. For Robert, there's no better place than being in the flow of a painting session. And what he loves doing, what he's dedicated his life to really, is helping artists find their own personal flow. I learned a lot about making paint just standing at the three row mill, watching waves of color come at me all day long. There are a couple of things that are really very important. I want to bring out the best in each pigment and stay true to the historic working properties of each color. Doing this means forging together pigment, oil, history, science, and even emotion. Every color has an emotional resonance that, that comes when its color is, is at its maximum. Every time a painter squeezes out color from one of our tubes, they're seeing my personal vision for how that color should be. As a result of our early work, the Smithsonian hired us to make 150 colors for their research and conservation. And that was a tremendous gift to me. That gave me a reach back through the whole history of oil painting. And that project was essentially the foundation of our young color house. We feel that we are living in perhaps the best time to be an oil painter. And that our mission as a color house is to lead oil painting into the future. That means focusing not on how things were, but on how things ought to be. Making materials that are true to historic working properties, yet safer and more permanent. Well, over the last 50 years, I don't think anyone's done more for oil painters than Robert. There's 20 of us at Gamblin that share his dedication, and as much as we've accomplished, we feel like we're just getting started.